Yes, indeed. You came here because your keyboard is sticky. And it's hard to type on your computer keyboard. All right. I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, this keyboard is about four or five years old. And yes, we eat around the keyboard. Yes, it gets crumbs in it. Well, this time, 7-Up got spilled in it. Woo! After a couple days, it got really sticky. A lot of keys. Nothing like trying to type with a sticky space bar. Okay, and I've already cleaned up the space bar, but I'm going to take it off and show you how to do it. The first thing you want to do before you do any of that is take a picture of your entire keyboard. That way... You won't have any mistakes putting the keys back in. Also, they do sell keyboard pullers. I just use a letter opener. Butter knife will work. You want to be very careful because the insides in here are plastic, little plastic pieces. And they can be easily broken. But um, like the keyboard, I'm going to gently take this off. This has wires on each side, so I am going to lift that wire out, and I know it's out because it's like a seesaw there, and I am going to get the other side out, and in the middle, there's it just pops right out, okay, underneath the space bar, space bar only, you have these wires here that go in these holes right here. Now, what you do, you've got tissues and you got Q-tips. And you get in here and dust it out because, and also you can give your keyboard a good whacking. Not very hard, but just firmly, and get as much of the crumbs out as possible. As you can see, there's a few crumbs there that I'll wipe up. Now, get your isopropyl, al isopropyl alcohol, 91%. You want to use as high a percentage as you can, 91% uh, or better alcohol. That's less water. Yes, you're going to let the keyboard dry about an hour after you do this. But, um, and you also want to turn your computer off. Make sure your computer's off when you're doing this. O-F-F. -F, off. Completely off. Okay. And wipe down in there best you can. Now, there's another piece that gets sticky too. Because a soft drink was spilled in here. There's this little plastic rubbery type thing that's down in here. It can get sticky also. And clean that off. Be very careful with it. You don't want to tear it. But you clean that off with alcohol also. And it's not a lot. Just a dab of alcohol. And that gets the stickiness out of it. Okay. Now. I've seen. Folks say. Spray some WD-40 down in here. No. That's not for me. I, I don't want to sit here and smell WD-40. And have WD-40 fumes all the time. Every time I'm at my keyboard. So no. Um, so. I have wiped that off and you put it back in and also before you take anything apart now see I already know but you have to look in there and see what it looks like before you take it out so that you know what to put it in I know to put this side up and stuff it down in there and gently Put it back in, 
stuff it back in the right way and then it'll expand into that hole just like it was and you see it's it's bouncy all right um, let's with a moistened q-tip get down in there Now normally I'm going to let that dry about 20 minutes before I even put the cover back on, but for the video I'll put it back on. You can dry it best you can with a tissue. Now I use a tissue because they're very thin. I could use a lint free cloth, but I can get any lint out that I see if it comes out and it normally doesn't um, so that looks pretty pretty good right there again this is the second time I've done this space bar but I'll show you the shift key it's sticky also and and I've seen people take every key off I, I don't need to do all that right now it's they're not all sticky right now so I put that in there see this left side and now the right side I can get it in the hole in the slot and they're both in the slot and now the middle will just sprint push right down make sure on your space bar mine has the white line on top so it won't work right if you put it on the bottom and now my keyboard if it goes up too high you don't have both your wires in the slots correctly so now I've got a good keyboard as far as the space bar goes now this shift key is also sticky so I'll pop it off and it just has the middle piece that holds it in and I will clean around here, get any stickiness off. And I'll moisten my tissue. Get down in there. And I'll also get down in there with a Q-tip cotton swab and get in there. Get all the stickiness out, any crumbs I can get out. Yes, I could take these two keys off right now, but right now for the video, I'll stick to this, this one, and I will lift out my elastic button to, little rubber button to clean it, just a little on your fingertips is good, but that, that cleans it out. And gets the stickiness off because if this gets sticky your key will be sticky and dry it off so it stays elastic stays with that rubbery bounce back and you put this in you don't want to poke any holes in it or anything so be gentle with everything And it fits down in the hole and it's bouncy. Okay. That looks pretty good. And there's my shift key. And it shouldn't stick anymore. I will 
clean around the edges too. Clean around the edges. Get any stickiness off. And you can actually do like that and feel if there's any stickiness. It just should feel like plastic and not have any stickiness on it. Okay. And while it's out here, I can clean the adjacent keys. Again, this is just slightly moistened with alcohol. All right. That looks good. Put the shift key back on. You put it right there in the middle and gently press down on it and it, it'll lock down in and it's not sticky. Alright. There you have it. And you can do this for any of the keys that are sticking. Uh, it's quite simple. But uh, trust me, you'll be able to type better and you'll feel a lot better using your computer keyboard. Alright, there you have it. Please subscribe to my channel to get other videos like this. My videos are designed for the 50, 50, 50 plus crowd, so you'll enjoy my channel. Just subscribe. Thank you. Have a blessed day.